don't even know if we want the tactical bombers. I thought I had sent all my planes to the same airbase. Right, which would be over here. Okay, still, I'm going to group these guys up. I'm going to split you in half. I'll just get this to a nice clean 100 as a limit. So it keeps a few spare planes around. That's going to be okay. Uh, you guys are going to be in air spirit emissions specifically. You're going to be attached to this. You're going to be attached to this. Hopefully they do vaguely the right thing. Uh, strategic bombers. See, I don't know if I've got the strategic bombers in play. Well, if anything, the strategic bombers might just be set up to bomb Mongolia if they ever join in. I'm going to move them forward a little bit and we'll see. Okay. But we're going to want some close air support soon. There's still someone walking through this? Okay, good. Phone installing. Oh, that's a shame. How are we doing over here? Um, not great. So all these guys died. Those guys are going to die probably pretty soon. These guys are going to die. So that's the thing. They, they, they form a little bit of a distraction, but they really don't do anything for us. These guys might hold in urban territory like this, in a port for some supply, but probably not. Yeah, we're closing in on winter, that's true. Royce! That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everyone and tell everyone to halt. Because some of them are close to the front, but we're on strategic redeployment. I'm just going to tell them to sort of reset over here so that they walk the last steps to the front. Fuel's still bad. Whose side is winter on when Russia is fighting itself? Great question, I don't know. Mostly the side that wants to be defensive. Shut that you don't get pocketed. Yeah, over here. Hopefully we're okay. I could pull back these guys. These guys are holding, which is okay. These guys are moving forward. Hopefully we're fine. We're okay here. I do like that we have a fair amount of cav for fast movement to be able to reach the front maybe a little bit quicker. Now, I can push forward over here. I'm not sure there's much gain. I could also attack here. This guy doesn't even have supply. But might be strong otherwise. But you know what? I think I will push right over here. Now, speaking of, let's go and hit there, especially with low supply. You guys assist. You push forward over here. I'm not worried about being pocketed, and it'll give us a little bit of a control point here. And probably push this guy backwards. Okay, machine tools is done. Okay, fuel is rising. That's good. And then we are still going to get our fuel refining over here for more fuel per oil. That's going to make a big difference. Um, it's 37. It's not quite time for this. Oh, let's get our gun support here. We're going to try to get tech that's going to help us forward. Oh, I haven't actually taken a look at what our military production is right now. That's the wrong button. What am I looking for? Oh, production over here. No. Yeah, I mean, we're way down in factories now. And mostly we're just going to need a lot of infantry equipment. Are we short on anything? No, not currently. Okay. And then there was one. But it's tied up a decent number of their troops that could otherwise be at the front. All right, done, done, done. Ukraine. Oh, those are... Sh yeah, but... Can I not get out of here? Oh, we don't have access. Oh, that's fine. And I'm not going to use my ships. Okay. Attack bombers... And these naval bombers. I'm not going to use the naval bombers. The tactical bombers, I definitely want to use for close air support. I think I'm going to manually place you in here to operate in this region. Although I could just attach you to an army, that'll probably also work fine. Okay, we're going to push back there. But 
you're going to push forward and do damage potentially to some of their tank units, which is kind of decent. Okay, manually... Well, maybe not. Move to here, and then we'll figure out what manual moves going to happen. So you're still going to push forward into there, which is going to be okay. You're going to get pulled, pushed back here, which is unfortunate. Um... This is looking a little scary, although I think we're probably fine. They're not moving forward in here, which is good. We're defending there. Actually, a counterattack there would be kind of nice. You move here and then do that. Royce! Just make sure I've got someone standing in this so that we don't get pocketed. I don't want to counterattack across this river here. See all these guys with no supply. Although I don't have much in the way of supply here either, and some of the dudes would attack across the river. Still push that back. Okay. So what we're really looking for here are the events where some people go... Um, Alright, yeah, you're going to push forward there. Okay, I'm going to move the cavalry this way. Because it's not helping much in that fight anyway. And then I'm going to reroute the infantry to help assist this battle here. And unbulge this. Okay. We haven't activated a battle plan yet, but that's okay. All this is done. No one's joined in over here, which is fine. I mean, supply is shit over here, but we're not going to really be able to build anything quickly enough regardless. Whew. Hang on. Do you do this? Take one of you. Stop! And do that. I might be able to pocket these guys. So if we can get a little bit more going on. Okay, we got pushed back over here, but that's going to be fine. Um, getting pushed back here sort of sucks. Oh, uh, and someone did go and take this back before we could stand in it. Use diplomacy to get another country to attack the Soviet Union. It's not really that in Hoi 4, though. And we can't join a faction right now. We can't join a faction until... Assuming we win. Um, right here. We, provisional Russian government recognized by the international community. So we don't get a lot of options. I can keep pushing here, but I'm a little worried about getting countered. On the other hand, if I do push here, these guys are going to be isolated, and we can just finish them off. We may start building more infrastructure near the front. Okay, lots of green lights. These guys surrounded. Hello. That got pushed back, which is great. Um, you got, you look very vulnerable over here. Let's plan something kind of like this. And then see if we can hit this control point afterwards. Actually, maybe you can Because these guys are going to fall very quickly. You attack here. Keep these guys pinned. You may as well move here. Okay, good. Anything we can do over here? We can probably do this and assist from here, even though it's a cross river. I mean, we can also assist from over here, even though it's a cross river. Um, I could just push in here. You know what? I think I will just do that. Meanwhile, we have... Let's do that and split and do a little bit of a hook behind over here. Maybe do that instead of your strategic redeployment. And you're doing this. Yeah, let's meet up. 
And these guys aren't moving. There we go. So let's engage them. And finish them off. We'll be able to counterattack here quite nicely because they're going to have no org after this failed attack. I mean, basically, they were moving into this tile and then we came in and beat them to it. But yeah, we can immediately push back and maybe try to hook behind. We're going to do a little bit more of that. Especially if we can get our cavalry involved in something like this. Okay. So I still haven't I, um, um, enabled our auto attack over here. I mean, we're still getting some planning bonus. Some people have been there and gotten it. Maybe I can just hit play on this now. Let's go for it. Okay, you're going to get countered. Okay, throw some more in. It's only the cavalry. These cavalry groups are pretty lightweight. I mean, not all of them even conform to the uh, the templates over here. Like some are the, the older ones. So they're very small cavalry groups. But they move quickly. Um, let's push this. Oh, that's right. Shit. Um, I'm feeling like we're canceling that move now. All right. One of you presumably is walking through here to claim that. Perfect. Wonderful. You're going to theoretically hopefully hold that. I'm going to move some infantry in here as well. This will be a little stronger. Okay, Estonia! Estonia has won! Oh, hello, we got a defection! Grigory Kulik has joined in. All right. Chief of the army. Oh, we've got Anton here. He's going to give us more experience gain. The division training time doesn't really matter too much. Kind of holding off that we might get some, some better dudes. But... The defection did come in with some troops, which is great. Um, maybe I'm going to rather than move them to the front. How about I take these guys and just get ready for a push against Mongolia? I mean, obviously, this isn't enough troops to do it. But if we have some more defections along the way, that should be helpful. <laughs> However, I might, I don't know if I'll disband these tanks, but again, we're like well out of, uh... oh shit, we have a bunch of light tanks now. We got some extra equipment. Never mind, I won't disband them. That's going to be great. Which Estonia won? Estonia, Estonia won. So we're still hoping that like Ukraine, um, there's a few others. There's a bunch that can, uh, that can become independent and them doing that really shakes up the front line. Yeah. Why don't I just... Oh, there's a river to cross. Once we're through here, we're going to be able to do some nice punching. Are we pulling back? No? Good. Yeah, let's hope this is able to make moves this way. Yeah, do that, and then move in here, and then we can... Impocketing this guy. Maybe starting to attack now makes no sense. We're going to be a little weak for now. Uh, and it is making a tutorial for good tank builds for new... Well, I haven't even played with the new tank builder. God, the movement here is terrible. I mean, they have no supply or anything. So it kind of makes some sense. Impocketing, go! Um, speaking of, though, if I do... If I do this, keep these guys pinned in here, while this guy just moves in here, we might be able to get another stack wipe. Meanwhile, I could go for the control point. I'm just going to do this for now. I could help defeat this. But actually, I think with the cav, I'm going to do this instead. You help. Okay, what the hell? That strategic redeployment was really annoying after I told you to assist in this combat. Okay. I can't have you assist now because you're going to go way too... Uh, you're going to come in with no org. So yeah, they're pushing forward a little here, but it's fine if I cut these guys off if ever this movement finishes. But I suppose it is winter in the north of Russia. Sort of makes sense that things might be a bit difficult. Uh, I'm going to cancel that move since it's clearly proven to be difficult. And we'll do a wee bit of this instead. Closer. Just help defeat this a little faster, please. Thank you. 
Oh, we're gonna lose that or Dobrikaze! There, please. Dobrikaze! need you to move over here. This actually might be too risky. Because they could easily come behind us. Just stay here. As I say, regain some more. But you've got no supplies. So you might never be able to do that. And apparently you're being attacked anyway. What? Why is it... Why did it select these guys? When I box selected over here. I don't know. Anyway, aristocratic investments. We get some more military factories. That is good. We'll take the sabotage enemy lines because that can give us some interesting things to blow up some org. Now and again, Hoi does that. It's a weird box select. It must be something I'm doing. I don't know if I'm holding down a modifier key or something like that. <laughs> Moving to Russia is slow because you cannot force a lazy bear to abandon its winter sleep time. <laughs> All right, what's the year? Okay, it's near 38. We could get more excavation. I don't think that's the right thing to do. We've got some experience. It might be good to get some of these support companies going. Okay, we've got everything, most of the things we want unlocked. Uh, we'll get a few more artillery points. But yeah, we could consider... Let's get some logistics companies in here to reduce supply use. I think that's going to be good. Um, our manpower is going down. It's not critically quick, but... A field hospital is good for returning XP as well. Increases supply use, though. Recon engineer company is pretty useful. I mean, maybe we throw those down. Oh, then we're basically going to be out of uh, infantry equipment. But yeah, let me make a little tweak here. Also, wait, we have two lines of things being done? Must have been something I inherited for something. I'm going to cancel this one, free up a little bit of equipment because we're going to need it. Have you slow deploy into the... Right. Mongolian potential battle plan here. Royce. I actually don't care about completing this attack. I'll just halt. Oh, you are holding there, which is good. This movement is still happening! It takes months to make that move. Which is fairly legit. Uh, we can do war propaganda. We could get some extra war support, but I don't think that's really what we need. Wrong divisions? Well, not all of our divisions are that new template, but some of them definitely are. The, um... Yeah, 20 divisions use infantry times 9. Oh, these might not be doing the... What, yeah, they're building something else. Tell you what, I'll just have them do the one wave, and then we'll just finish that. That's gonna be okay. I guess I could change it, but... They're, they're, they're clearly a fairly lightweight division, which honestly is not a terrible thing right now. Okay, I'm going to make this move, because this guy's not ready to attack. I mean, I could have him sit and regain some org, but... And you've held here, which is great. And you might finish this move this century. There we go! See, these guys are completely cut off now, which is fantastic. 13 divisions have been assigned over here, which is kind of overkill. A lot of them might not be willing to make the move forward. Ah, uh, some of them, definitely. I don't know who's assigned. I guess I can uh, control right click, select the units assigned to this. No oh, I can't do the uh, strategic redeployment because they have they belong to different armies. There you go. I can strategically redeploy now. No, oh, same thing here. There we go. I think all these are strategically redeploying to here now. Paratroopers into Moscow. How are we going to do that? There's no way we have the range. I don't think that's going to be an option, unfortunately. 
pretty low. Um, it would still be nice. Oh yeah, you're still making that move. You're gonna join in that possible move. Get some isolation here. Yeah, got off. Um, I guess you've been assigned to this front. Do I want to do that? No, I think I want to leave you here actually. There we go. Make sure you get assigned over here. Whole game's gonna be simple. It's only 37. It's not moving very quickly. We're only in speed three, admittedly, but it's only 37. We haven't even had the uh, Soviet republics start to break independently yet. I know it's a like hacking cross river. As I say, that looks pretty good. You're pretty low, but we might be able to get you to assist. I don't know if there's any point in doing that. I don't know, at least you wouldn't attack across the river here. Italy doing Italian things. Okay, you're gonna hold there. I'm gonna get you guys to just YOLO this river site. Because that's pretty vulnerable. And then I'm gonna tell one of you guys to just stop and stay here. There you go. But the rest of you keep moving across. And actually, one of you, once you're through, make the cut across this way. That's looking nice. You guys over here are pushed back. This is cavalry. They can move pretty quickly. So I'm gonna have one doing this. I'm gonna have the other one push into Omsk. And then cut behind. Royce. Yeah, I got off. Can I catch these guys? I know you have like no war here. But I think we can actually pull that off. Yeah, I got off. I'm gonna attack here to pin these guys. We don't have to win, we just have to make sure they don't move into this. You over here do this. I know you're not going to have a ton of org, because you were just strategically de redeploying. Actually, you're going to be fine to take that, cut these guys off. That's going to be great. Meanwhile... Push there. Shit, actually, do I just want to have everyone push in there? You go there. There you go. Green across the board. I want to make sure we don't lose this location, but it feels unlikely that we will. So I'm tempted to start pushing with this cap. Maybe to here. Okay. I mean, overall, not too bad. I mean, neither one of us are in surrender progress mode yet. We will start to get some events that will cause the Soviets to want to GG out. To do this. Royce. And you. I'm just gonna push in some more. Yeah, got off. yeah, just keep pushing aggressively this way. Royce. Royce. Okay, you guys. I don't know if that'll work. It's gonna be green for now. I'm not sure it's gonna stay green. Let's see what we can do. Meanwhile, this is slowly getting cleaned up. I mean, overall, things are going all right. Oh, shit, did this get canceled? Oh, no, good. They're running out, which is lovely. Uh, although this pin is no longer happening. You're going to do this. <laughs> Sabotage behind enemy nines. We're going to be wrapping up the, the call, the, uh, the game soon. Maybe I will call for aid. I wonder if we could get some foreign aid put in. All right, let me run this. If we can get some uh, some foreign aid, some, some volunteers, that would be very useful. So we have new decisions now. We can hit this. It costs 15 um, uh, command points, not political power. And it causes enemy units to suffer an organization loss when it's removed. So in 14 days. But that is going to be a really powerful tool for us. We can only do one at a time. Oh well, yeah, we could specifically target railroad lines. That is true. Which is all in here. If we keep pushing here, which is actually where we're making decent amount of movement. Get up. 
I don't think it will get there first, but it's going to be flatter terrain. Uh, it is, yeah, plains instead of forests that will attack. Cavalry divisions are probably fairly lightweight. And yeah, you guys need to push, push, push. Get that. Push, push, push up here. Might turn out we don't even need more independent things. I mean, we did get our Japanese expeditionary forces, which is useful. I don't think I care about um, emergency factory conversions. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, this converts our uh, civilian factories to military factories. Um, I don't think I care too much about that. I like my civilian factories. Sure, they don't build me guns, but they sure as hell build a lot of other stuff. I could do... Yeah, I got hey, tell you what, you guys come through here. So you don't attack the uh, across the river. But you can help... I mean, it's going to be one regardless, but... Let's get some acceleration. Uh, okay, you guys are trying to move in there, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to do... A little move like this as well. But yeah, we have control over the railroad line all the way to Omsk. Now, I don't know if we... Oh, we did con capture a supply hub over here, which is really good. Trains needed. They have the, all like 18 trains. Okay, but there is a bottleneck earlier on. I think I'm going to go ahead and queue up the upgrade railroad, which is just in one little region back here. But I think it's going to be worth doing that. It's this connection over here, which is clearly going to be fairly reliant on... Okay, you're going to clean that up. Good. Meanwhile, over here... What's going on here? So these guys are dead and pulling back. I'm going to get you guys all pull into here. So I think that's where those guys are running into. And we'll just do a little bit of a follow here. Okay. Why not make some... That's a good point! Why not? Because... There's too much going on. All right, just do a big YOLO push over here. And you... I mean, it would be nice to do a hook back here to cut off more supply, but at the same time, it does put us at some risk. But... That location... Let's do... Let's plan for something like this. With you guys. Okay. We've got a gap behind the river here. We'll keep pushing. I gotta wrap up the stream. We're ten minutes over, but man, isn't it exciting. Oh, what are the war-looking casualty numbers? Uh... We have lost 64,000. They've lost 135,000. Two to one numbers. Pretty good. Now, they might have more. They do have more manpower still. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Finally. Oh, Wilhelm II returns to the German Empire. But more importantly, there's a nationalist uprising in the Republic of Ukraine. So we can say this is rightful Russian territory. In which case, um, well, the Ukraine declares war on the Soviet Union. Kind of regardless, I think. But they'd also declare war on us. Or we could just say the enemy of our enemy is our friend. They declare war on the Soviet Union. We don't go to war with them. So we're going to do this with the plan. We're going to clean up Ukraine later. I mean, we might get screwed depending on what factions everyone joins. But right now, yeah, this is going to be huge. We don't want to start the war there. Although, in a sense, we don't share a front. So ultimately, we'd eventually run into them and possibly just kick their ass. They'd be fighting Russia over here, or the Soviets over here, pull, forcing some of their troops to come back. No, we're going to go ahead and be cool with them for now. They're our friends, not food. And we'll see what happens later on. I mean, we all agree that the communists are a threat around the world. And we, you know, got to do something about that. Now, where do I want to sabotage org? I mean, we're doing an active push over here. On the other hand, if we could do a good push over here, it'd be great. We don't have a lot of troops in this area, though. That's actually what we really need is more dudes over here. Um, might be worth it here, too. Or instead. That might be a better push. So we can only do one at a time. I mean, we are actively fighting here. Here, let's do that. More troops coming in through. I don't think we'll lose this location. Hopefully they don't join in at like an awkward time for this. Called Latvians. Okay, now let's take a look at us. Okay. 
Mongolia's still not in there, and theoretically still some more troops. What decisions we have available? Oh, emergency factory conversion, which again, I don't care about. Oh, who's the leader? That's a good question. Oh, it's just the provisional government. We don't we don't have an individual in here yet. You're still moving through here. You're still moving through here. Yes, moving just slow. You're sort of, oh, um, parked over here. To, actually, yeah, we don't want to lose that land. That would be really awkward. So I don't mind you pulling back here. Why don't you just do a little something something like that? Okay, so this is very risky, obviously. On the other hand, they haven't started a move yet. You do a little something like this. Actually, or even like that. Actually, I suppose I should do this. There we go. Because that means this guy can't be cut off. These guys, I mean, they can they can reconnect this pocket pretty easily. But, I mean, not that easily. Oh, shit, this guy moving in with the strategic redeployment was kind of crappy. Well, that's okay. Maybe Stalin will defect. I mean, we are the cooler Russia. Oh, shit, we actually got defeated there. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, those guys are pulling back. Oh, that's interesting. Well, then in which case, what we're going to do is just queue up this. I don't actually want them to end up moving here. Okay, wait, you do this and then that. You do this. And a little bit of this. Okay. Is he stalling for time? Ah, oh, boo. Ooh, Nanjing has fallen. Japan taking over China. I'm soon gonna take over some of the former Soviet territory because we're giving it to them. Yeah, got off. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You we're attack here. You. These guys want to move, and I don't like that idea. Don't pick up. We're gonna move in there. We're gonna impocket these guys. I'm gonna get you to halt and assist. That's gonna cut off these guys completely. Call for aid is done. We'll see if we get more volunteers from that. Um, I could start going down the religious branch, get more political power and stuff, get some advisors unlocked. Um, although here we're gonna we're gonna take the heavy industry here and get some extra civilian industry started. Ah, yes, we got more sabotage behind enemy lines, being readied. Uh, yeah, I'm really not worried about the cost, mostly just the opportunity of that. I gotta spend it somewhere. This actually looks like it's gonna cover a lot of areas we're currently fighting, so let's do a little bit of that. How are we looking in the north over here? Oh, you're pulling back over there? That's really annoying. I didn't realize there's another province over there, which is a wee bit annoying. Okay, what, you are gonna do this instead and plan on doing that. Push, push, push. I mean, no one's gonna have a lot of org here because there's just not a lot of supply for anyone. But all right. Okay, we're going to wrap up the stream here. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. There we go. We're closing in with three to one for casualty nows. Now. Nows? Getting all the uh, the encircle boops is really helping a lot. Get off. Really helping a lot. Um, dude, this part of me is wondering about a counter attack. I think I like the idea of the counter attack here rather than defending. I think that's going to be okay. Ah! I just have to one more click this game all the time! <laughs> just one more province, you guys. It's okay, just just one more province. <laughs> In circle boops, exactly. Okay, so Wednesday, I have no idea what Wednesday is gonna look like. Because maybe Essentia is gonna have a voice, in which case we're gonna play growing up. If not, maybe we're gonna vroom vroom some more to sport manager, or maybe we're gonna vroom vroom some more Russian tanks. Either way, here's the thing. I mean, I'm telling you, this campaign is going to be finished. We're either, maybe I'll just turn it into a YouTube Let's Play, something. I don't know what it's going to be, but we're definitely going to be continuing this. I just don't know what the streaming schedule for this week is going to look like. Vroom Boom, that's good. Vroom Vroom versus Vroom Boom. Um, this was a sponsored stream by Paradox. Big thank you to them for <laughs> paying me to play one of my favorite games. Uh, don't tell them, okay? Let's pretend I hate it and I'm only doing it because of money. 
Uh, <laughs> you can do exclamation mark what game and find a link where you can uh, get No Step Back, which releases tomorrow, so you can get your hands on this. Um, the 1.11 Barbarossa free patch also, I believe, comes out tomorrow. Well, it must all come out at the same time. Um, and it has a lot of the changes you're seeing here, like the supply and stuff like that, new command structure, I think is all part of the free patch, um, and including a redo of the even the vanilla Soviet tree. Ah, that would have been interesting to see. I could have loaded the game without the DLC en enabled and see what the free version of the redone Soviet tree is. It is supposed to be a pretty big change, which is good because uh, it definitely needs the love. Uh, overall, this has been a lot of fun. Again, this is the hardest of the Civil Wars to do. Uh, probably the Trotsky one's a little easier and it's kind of fun. So we'll see. Four-way war in Spain. Uh, look at that. Uh, you love to see it. I actually haven't done the uh, Spanish Civil War as a like a let's play. I might have to do that at some point because it does seem really cool. I do love all the angles. And yeah, Republic of Ukraine. I mean, hopefully they do okay, but the big thing is they're going to be drawing troops off of this border over here and giving us a better opportunity. Plus consuming, I mean, we don't necessarily care about their manpower, but it's consumed some more of their equipment. Speaking of, we do have a bit of a shortage over here. Um, but there's not much we can do about that. I mean, if we do get more military factories, mostly we're going to want them uh, working on more infantry equipment. We're going to wrap it up here. I think A Kiss for Luck is streaming. Speaking of Room Room, I think she might be streaming some Motorsport Manager. Anyway, thanks everyone who came out. Thanks everyone who contributed to the Whiskey and Pickle Fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, A Kiss for Luck is doing Motorsport Manager. So let's go and raid her. It's going to be a surprise war. And I'm going to see you guys on Wednesday for something. See you then. Bye-bye.